Hey everyone, welcome back to Let's Talk Science News. I am Professor Y, and this is my partner. Hi everyone, I'm Nebula, and welcome back to another video. Today we're going to talk about a new feathered dinosaur fossil that was found in Brazil. Now here we are at Science News Org, and uh, the chicken-sized carnivore is the first feathered dinosaur fossil found in the southern hemisphere. So that's why it made some rounds. The other reason why it would make making some rounds in the news is that um, the artist's depiction has these rods sticking out of the shoulders here. And apparently they're thinking, you know, like birds are really uh, colorful, like the male birds are colorful to attract mates. And they're saying this is probably why, since um, obviously birds and dinosaurs are related. If we go down on the article, they just basically give us the new name that Ubi Jer Ubi Rajara means Lord of the Spe of the Spear and comes from the local Tupi indigenous language, which is um, near where they found it in Brazil. Mm -hmm. What I'm wondering is how from the fossil did they figure out that the feathers or spear spears I don't know they look like feathers they probably are yeah how how did they know that they're there yeah so they say they may have used its shoulder streamers and feathery mane for yeah. flashy dances and display so let's take a look at the at the fossils here so it was difficult to find the fossils but here we have a few pictures of the fossils that they found I'm wondering how did they know it was that furry because what I'm seeing is they don't no, from the fossil, there's no indicator that there would be any fur or feathers. So that's what I'm wondering. There's always a lot of interpretation because there's no color. So, you know, there's a stripe down his fur on his back and these are yellow. We have absolutely no idea what color um, the skin or fur was of these fossils. So we only have structures. They, we can't tell by these pictures, but they might have been really microscopic things sticking out but who knows um that might have been from something else I, i'm just a little bit uh, apprehensive when to believe and we see these you know colorful huge you know things from fossils it's really hard to figure out to be honest um the other thing i want to talk about this uh, dinosaur fossil is that uh, it is um creating an ethic debate basically they found this fossil in brazil but they presented this in in, uh, in the museum in, in Germany. And so apparently you're not supposed to take any fossils out of Brazil, at least not permanently. Um, and so it might have been exported illegally. Now, the researchers say they had um, permission. But, but who gave them permission who, if it's illegal? That's right. So, because yeah. a, from what it sounds like, Germany said that they're exporting it permanently they never said it was only on loan and according to the law of brazil you can only lend out fossils you cannot ship them to other countries so who gave germany permission right and this is not a new fossil it was found in 1995 so it's making the rounds now because there's uh, an artist depiction and they just they just uh, found these 15 centimeter long um, rods that extended from the shoulders apparently so it's been around for a little while but um, it, it says in 1990 Brazilian, reg Brazilian regulations prohibited the sale or permanent export of fossils from the country so uh, there's a little bit of, of some um, something going on between the researchers and we'll see if it's going to stay in Germany or not but uh, otherwise, it's a pretty cool fossil, if it is true. What do you think, Nebula? Yeah, I think it's very, very interesting. I think it's really cool that something like this even existed. And yeah, I think it's pretty unique that it has those really cool feathers or rods sticking out of its shoulders. Yeah, it's the first one that have been found like this. So we'll see if other fossils get discovered in the same area that have these same things maybe sometimes you need a second fossil to say oh we totally got the first one wrong um and so, so mm -hmm, because to, the pictures of the fossil they look pretty mixed yeah up. it's hard to interpret 
uh, based on one example, but pretty cool if it is true, and we'll uh, see in the future if that's if that's a correct interpretation. So that's another video of uh, Let's Talk Science News, and uh, bye for now. Bye, everyone. And we'll see you again in the next video.